my melatonin is not going to rise for probably another six or seven hours. So I need to artificially hijack my melatonin system and tell my brain, oh no, it's not 4 p.m. It's instead, it's midnight. And so there, under conditions of jet lag, very helpful. The second is if you have a circadian rhythm disorder, let's say that you're someone who has a, a, an advanced circadian phase. What that means is you're someone who really can't get sleepy until three or four in the morning, and you would prefer to be sleeping throughout most of the day. So you, you're almost nocturnal. Is that a genetic disorder? Right? And Yes, it's a genetic disorder in part. How many people have that? Probably one to 2% of the population have a very severe, what we call an advanced circadian phase disorder. But their melatonin can also be helpful because once again, their melatonin, part of their problem is that their melatonin is very delayed. So they don't get the signal of, oh, it's night until maybe four o'clock in the morning. You and I, we start to get our signal of melatonin, depending on our chronotype, by somewhere between about 9, 10 or 11 p.m. They may be delayed by five hours. So if we can give them melatonin, we can artificially try to fool their brain into thinking it's actually earlier in their biological rhythm. So they sleep earlier and they're more in sync with the rest of society 